Okay, here's my next boiler. Most uh, interesting part of this, it's got rivets in it. Pretty cool. Very hard to do. It also has a new firebox or draft box base to it. New draft door. And ash pan, of course. And um, big firebox. Whistle valve is leaking, but it does work just fine. I'll work on the valve to see if I can get it better. Nice whistle. Great sound. Well, like I said, that's a new base on it. I was studying photographs of uh, antique bases, antique boilers. And they used to cast that part. Uh, it's got a really nice pump on it. It's the airlock valve is right here. Once you got water coming out of there solid, just close it off and everything the pump will go into the boiler. Got a one inch ram on it. And this is a drain and fill now over on this side. So you can fill that when it's uh, about to be used. Water sight glass. Tricock. And a really nice gauge. The pop-off valve is set it to go off at 100 on this one. See that or not? Nice, nice pop-off valve. Kunkel, I think it's called. Okay, so then the base is 24 square. It's got a nice foot underneath here too, right there, to keep it up off of the solid base so it gets draft. And uh, the base is 24 square. The boiler is 20 inch diameter. 42 inches high, uh, plus the stack makes it 80 to the top of the stack. And there are 22 copper tubes rolled in. There are inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. This is the engine out. So if you've got an engine, you can run it off of there, or you can tee off of any of these other ones and run it uh, whatever's convenient. Nice new brass fitting instead of plastic now. Hard to come by. And of course the draft is right here still, the steam draft. Oh. So it, uh, see the firehouse roaring there. It's got a, a ring on the inside of it inside the stack that has 16 inch holes drilled into it and it uh, increases the draft. Really nice brass part there. I think it's the finest boiler I've ever built. Perfect for you guys that don't have any boilers to run your steam engine. That's about it.